Um, hey guys, Nick the Reptiles here, and today I just want to make a quick video on how to um, set up a newly clean snake enclosure. Today I'm changing my red side garter snake. She's about a year old. Her name is Rita. And there she is. Okay, so the first thing is you need to uh, obviously make sure you take your snake out and put it in a some kind of container that's not going to let it escape. There's a little hole right there that I put there just for air, but just want to make sure that, you know, your snake is going to be safe while you clean its cage. Okay, so right here I have a 10 or, I believe it's a 10 gallon tank. Just a 10 gallon glass tank, and you know, I just barely rinse it out, and you just want to make sure you uh, get all the poop and all the mess out. That way, you know, it's, it's clean and sanitary for your snake. Now you can use like um, a very, very, very low bleach solution um, to clean this out and make sure everything is sanitized. Um, I usually do that when it's really, really messy, but um, say it wasn't, you know, too bad. As you can see, there's still some water in there, but you know, you can let it dry, but garter snakes kind of like, you know, wet habitats and they don't mind a little bit of extra moisture. So I went ahead and left it wet, but um, here's her cage furniture scene. I have a plant a piece of, you know, driftwood, and a hide, and a water dish. Okay, so first thing you want to put in is your substrate, and today I'm just using aspen. Aspen is, you know, the best uh, wood that you can use for snakes, as I've heard, you know, different things about, you know, different types of woods, like pine, you know, isn't good for snakes' respiratory um, you know, because the dust and everything, they say that it's not very good. So uh, I choose to use aspen, and this is just a huge bag that I got for like $10, so I have it used for uh, my two other snakes. So what I do is I just start piling it in. You want to make it fairly even for your snake. You don't want to have it, uh, you know, uneven, too uneven. Yeah, well, that's about good enough. Colubrids and, you know, garter snakes and corn snakes, they like to kind of burrow in their substrate, or at least mind you. So I like to leave about maybe, I don't know, like an inch or so of substrate. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, but that's good enough. And you just want to make sure you, like I said, you make it fairly even for them. Okay, and so once you have your substrate in, you can start adding your, you know, cage furnishings. Um, the only thing about aspen is that it likes to get all over everything that's wet. And, you know, some of the stuff, like the water dishes, I just rinsed out, so it's a little bit wet. So, But I'll clean that out later. Um, first thing I like to do is put the plant in here. I usually have a plant in all my sinks enclosures. So there's Rita's. I put her hide on this side. I also have another hide, but it's not dry yet, so. Um, I also put this piece of wood kind of in here with the plant because her heat lamp is right above where this plant is right here. So that gives her a little bit of a basking spot because garter snakes are diurnal and so they like to, uh, you know, sunbathe and they need those nutrients that they would get, you know, in the wild if they were out in the sun. So, and then I add the water dish. I add it right in the center because, like I said before, gar snakes like, like water. And um, my gar snake's actually in its water dish a lot of times. So I add it right in the middle. And then that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you can use this setup for, you know, corn snakes. You can use it for any kind of snake. Um, just, you know, you might have to change a few things. You know, some snakes don't like as much. Um, you know, climbing space while other snakes, you know, like more. So, um, just adjust, adjust it to your type of snake and what it likes. So, let's put Rita in here. There she is. Now she's a little bit skittish. But, there she goes. Checking it out. Okay, you guys. Well, that's my simple video on how to uh, 
set up a snake's enclosure. Um, if you like this video, then go ahead and give it a like, a thumbs up, and comment if you have any questions or if you have any video ideas you'd like me to see or you'd like me to make for you, excuse me. Um, and subscribe if you uh, want to see more videos. Okay, thank you guys.